you know what? Let's let's shoot for the moon here. How about you gave me twenty thousand dollars for fifty days? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Rec Center Tycoon. And let's address something rather silly. I put the couch right in front of the door. That was um, pointed out to me by a couple of people. Let's let's move the couch. That's that's not a good spot for the couch. Let's put the couch right over there. Maybe not in front of the door is a good idea. So we have basically no money, and we've got a loan out. But we've got a sauna now, so that's pretty good. And we've got a lot more arcade machines, which is great, because those are a buck fifty every time somebody plays that thing. It's great. No research project right now. I know I kind of can't afford them. And what have we got here? We've unlocked solar panels. That's probably really good and something I totally can't afford, but really good if we ever could afford it. What are our uh, little dailies? Buy something over 500, eh, maybe? 110 earned from entertainment. We might be able to do that and get a five star review. All right, let's just let the day tick along a little bit and see what happens. So I let it run to the end of the day without buying anything at all because I just wanted to get a clear picture of how we're doing financially. Let's check it out before midnight and everything resets to zero. We are technically profitable. We have a profit of 419 for a given day and we almost cracked a thousand dollars for our income for the day, which is not bad. So I think what I want to do is either get more things in the building that generate money or more tech to lower our overhead and having a look at research let's see what we can do with that bulk buy will reduce the price of our stock in half it'll cut it down 50 percent but i'm not sure i can get to that because merchant 2 is still locked it's still in development and that leads directly to bulk buy i don't think i can unlock this it, I mean, it's angry and red that generally says I can't do that. I could go Computer Lab, which will get me to Entertainment 2, which is fine. Or we could look at possibly opening all night, but that's a whole lot of wages. I'd like to get to class hosting. I'd like to get this done and sort of test drive this, but that's level 10 with my manager. Well, we do gain XP fairly quickly. What's going to be the smartest thing for me to do now, knowing that I'm going to have to spend some money on this, probably Computer Lab. I mean, it's relatively inexpensive in the grand scheme of things. It's 500 as opposed to the 700s or 1,000. What is Blast Processing? Gives all your receptions brand new computers. Upgrades new computers. Okay, right on. Okay, well, that's a long way down the road there. What is poaching? Is that getting people? Increases the quality of all your job applicants. That's nice. Let's just go with Computer Lab. Right, there we go. There we go. Computer lab locked in. I'll do that overnight, I would imagine. That's a whole lot of money I just spent there. But we'll have a computer lab, so, you know, that, that, that's good. And overnight, we unlocked Tax Advisor, too. Now, what exactly does that do for a living? I remember seeing that in here somewhere. Right, so that's actually really good. That drops our taxes by 50%. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. We'd have to get night hours first. That doesn't necessarily mean I have to have my place open 24 hours a day, but I could. And getting tax advisor would be very, very handy. It's going to be some money. 500 to get night hours and 1,000 to get tax advisor. But that over the long haul, if we can just drop our expenses by 50% in tax, that's got to be a good thing. Right, the place is getting ready to open. How am I doing? I am almost done with whatever it is I was doing here. Computer lab. There we go. And I think I've just, yeah, I've, oh no, that's the tax advisor one. Never mind that. I'm still working on the other thing, but everyone's showing up to work and the place is going to be open. You just spent 1150 on a casual membership and so did you. I like you people. Alrighty, well we finished doing Computer Lab and that unlocks a computer. I can't say I'm totally surprised by that, but customers will pay an hourly rate to use this. Good. Good. That's exactly what I want them to do. I have no idea where I'm going to be able to put this into play, because I don't have the money. And we, we do have a loan out. I'm, I'm paying for a loan here. But let's see if I can just get things started. How about just a basic white wall? That's 50 bucks. Okay, here's my plan. 
it's gonna go... This is gonna be more of a corridor -y area. Although we might put a few ATMs and vending machines in here because those things are worth their weight in gold. Let's put this... Uh, um, I don't know. Well, I couldn't really do much with my corridor idea because we're desperately out of money here. Although we did just finish a daily bonus, which is nice. That's a little bit of coin in our pocket there. This is just going to have to be a very, very small computer lab. Very, very tiny computer lab, but it'll get the job done. I'd really like to get enough money to put some floors together. I should probably check how much these things actually cost. That's 500 bucks. Okay. We may not be getting that today, per se. We may have to wait a day or two on that, but if I have my say, these people are going to be paying to sit down and use a computer that they can probably use at home. Well, I scraped together just enough money to get the lights on in the new computer lab and put down some red carpet, because I think it looks nice. Oh, wait a minute. We're one dollar shy. I, I need one dollar. One dollar to finish off the carpet here. It's five dollars per tile. I have four dollars. Can I not just pull something out of my pocket? Could we raid one of the ATMs or the vending machines or something? There's got to be some change in that vending machine. We okay, that, now it's down to three dollars. Now we're getting a little bit critical here. Okay, I think we're going to have to wait till tomorrow morning to get that one slab of carpet down. And then hopefully during the day we can generate enough money to actually get a computer for the computer lab. Because, you know, that's fun. Well, we're open for business and deep in the hole. We're down to minus 200 some odd dollars after paying silly things like electricity and taxes and whatnot. But um, we're still waiting on the one square of carpet. I, I think I just went to the store to get one remnant of carpet to slap in there. It, it's largely irrelevant me. Don't worry too much about it, me. We can't really afford the computers at this point, but hopefully by the end of the day we can. We'll get some money in the door, and if I don't spend anything else, I think we might be able to afford to put down one computer. The sauna is extremely popular. How much, seeing, seeing as I'm talking about spending money, how much is it for one more sauna bench? It's only 150. I might put one of those down because this seems to be a really, really popular area. Speaking of really popular, what are people broadly saying about us? Crowded, cramped, crowded, cramped, cramped, crowded, 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 cramped equipment variety. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I see where you're going there. I can't afford to make it any bigger, people. Possibly you could en enjoy the arcade machines. Ah, we completed a daily bonus, which gave me just enough cash to finish off the carpet. Not enough to put any computers down, but enough cash to finish the carpet. We might be able to get the computer by the end of the day. I really wish I'd made the pool bigger. I think that's part of the issue with the cramped and crowded thing, is the pool is just way too small. But it's the pool I could afford at the time. Is there any other small things that I could do? I do have that money to get the new sauna bench in there. I could do that. I'd rather save up and get the computer lab. I'd rather have more variety of things to offer the guests rather than putting another bench in. Because, yeah, right now it's not crowded. There's there's just one guy in there creepily staring at people in the hot tub. Yeah, that, that's, that's probably a police matter. Oh, hang on, hang on, the phone's ringing. Is it a drug dealer? Yes, it's another drug dealer. What a surprise. Culprit is a man, no shirt on, bald, wearing sunglasses. Got it. Okay, I was actually just thinking, boy, it's been a long time since we've had a drug dealer in the facility, and now there is one. Uh, bald, no shirt, wearing sunglasses. Hang on, hang on. You've got to be around here somewhere. That's kind of the point of this little subquest. But where are you, sir? Where are you? Well, this one's a little wily. He's learned from his drug dealing compatriots that we don't put up with that kind of nonsense, and he's well concealed himself. I I genuinely don't know where he is. He might just get away with it. You know what? Just give me a kickback, and it's all good, man. I'm really more concerned about the money. If you want to peddle things in my facility, that is 100% okay, so long as I am getting a slice of that cake. No, I got nothing here. I got. I have no idea where this guy is. I don't think I've got anyone at all wearing sunglasses in the facility, but here we are. Right, well, um, you got away with it, champ. You got away with it. 
Good news, everyone! I've got another stupid plan. I'm going to take out another bank loan. Otherwise, I feel we're just going to kind of be sitting here for many, 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 many game days just trying to accumulate any money at all because we're making about 150 bucks a day. So yes, I'd absolutely like to borrow $10,000. I can't think of anything better. And um, no, no, come, come, come back, come back. Oh, I actually did want to do that thing. Yeah, get me back to uh, loans, please. I will um, make this for a lot longer than five days. Let's make it for as many days as you will let me have. 50 days, 10 grand. Actually, you know what? Let's let's shoot for the moon here. How about you gave me $20,000 for 50 days? Oh, this is going to cripple us. This is the end of Rec Center Tycoon right here. This is how all my Tycoon games go down in flames. But I, I want 20 grand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I can get a computer. So let's zone this out as a computer lab. Where does that live? Computer lab. There we go. And that can be open to everyone. That's fine. Um, maybe if I click use as a classroom, does that say it's only a classroom? Or can regular old members use it? I don't know, so I'm not going to mess around with it. 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Computer lab is in. Now, let's get some computers for it. So go back to uh, the Who's Emic What's It There. Yeah, computers. There we go. Let's get, oh, I don't know, one there and 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 one there. There we go. Uh, go nuts, guys. Computers, a go-go around here. What do you want to tell me? There's a bit of a mess. Well, that's that's really good news, because I've got a ton of money that I can't pay back. So I'll hire someone. And Spencer here came in clean. He's a very clean person. Now, he's a little slow, but he's clean. I'm going to hire you, Spencer, and you are now going to be a janitor. So have fun with that. Clean the place up a little bit. We're building the computers. Obviously, I'm going to need to get some power to these things. Oh, that should actually, that should be powered up. I've already run a cable over there, but let's run one here and here. Do I have to do that and that? I don't know, so I'm going to do it anyway. I wonder if I can use, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have I learned anything at all from Crossroads Inn? Let's find out. Can I use this loan to pay back that loan? If I did that, uh, 8,200, that still leaves me some money. Yeah, okay, that's one loan down. Robbing Peter to pay Paul worked out kind of okay in Crossroads Inn. We'll see how it works here. All right, I've still got almost 10 grand in my pocket, and these guys are already all over the computer lab. They are digging this. I see that one is still not powered up. Is there a problem here? Uh, let's just, I don't know, put some things in there just for argument's sake. What do you got? Blast processing. Oh, I wanted that one. I wanted that. And cleaning mess. Okay, I'm, I'm aware of that. Somebody will show up to work at some point. Let's get some research going on while we've got all this fabulous money. What do I want? Solar panels reduces all costs. That's great. And if I get night hours, that gets me to tax advisor. Yeah, let's see if we can do some things to reduce our overhead. That's my goal. I want to reduce our overhead and then work on getting more money in. It's all good. One way or another, it gets the job done, but reducing overhead would be a really good idea. And I've got a little bit of extra money, and by a little, I mean like $8,000. What could I do with that? I'll put down a few simple things like a trash bin, put one up in there, maybe, why not? This seems to be the messiest area, it's certainly the most popular area, and the people really do seem to dig the mirrors. So let's put another one of those up. Boy, people love to look at themselves. I don't know if there's anything else I've really got that I don't already have. There's a couple of machines that I don't have pull-up bar I've got. I've got the shoulder press. Yeah, it looks like I do. Curl bar rack. Yeah, we're, we're good with all of those. Well, I don't know. I'll throw up another leg press thing. Why not? People, people like to have legs. Well, overnight, I leveled up to level 10, which means I have unlocked class hosting. Excellent. Let's get the place open. There is allegedly a heat wave. It's, it's 74. 
that's not a heat wave. Although apparently it's going up to 113. That is 100% a heat wave. You're not lying about that. Let's get myself leveled up here. Let's deal with me. Uh, let's put more, more into intellect. Let's get that research time up. And then, sure, agility and energy. Let's just keep myself moving a little bit faster here. I still, uh, I'd like to be able to auto do all of those but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so i'm hemorrhaging money naturally so my obvious task is to build an outdoor pool seeing as you know there's a heat wave what what is your problem here night hours has been researched great what could that lead to right tax advisor tax advisor that's just smart but i've unlocked uh, i've unlocked class hosting though i yeah i've un i have reached level 10 I, you just told me I unlocked this. Oh, do I have to get Cardio 2? Yeah, Cardio... Class hosting is dependent on Cardio 2. Okay. And I need $1,000 in a single day. Okay. Hopefully the computer lab will pick up the pace on the money. But, if I can't do class hosting, time for an outdoor pool. So I'm putting the wire fence up over here. I assume it has to have some sort of door. I mean, I don't expect people to scale the fence every time they want to come in. So there's no real, like, wire gate. I'll just do the wooden door. And then we need a pool. We need a pool in here. Again, a slightly smaller pool, but this one's not going to be in use very long. I think it's only going to be active during the summer hours, and then we might close it down in the winter, because obviously nobody wants to be out there in the middle of winter. So I'm going to need some things. We're going to need some of the little aqua things. How about a parasol? Everybody likes parasols. And a lifeguard chair we're definitely going to need. Let's pop that over there. Going to need a new lifeguard. Going to need a new lifeguard. Let's get a few... Actually, slow it down a sec. Slow it down. Slow it down. I would like to get more areas for parasols. Or not parasols, the chairs, the deck chairs. Can you actually... I'm going to have to redo this. Hang on a sec. Well, this will come as no surprise to anyone, but I've spent all my money. I'm down to 340 some odd dollars, but we have an outdoor pool. So I renegotiated it a little bit just so I can get some more deck chairs up here. And I've zoned all of this out to just be open between 8 and 4. Uh, you want 32 cents. Sure, why not? Uh, just between 8 and 4 so people aren't going to try and get in here after hours. I don't want anyone sneaking in here. I do need to hire, with my 300 some odd dollars, another lifeguard. Because people get awfully fussy when they die. So you're a workaholic. Well, I like you already. And you want to work between 8 and 6. I can actually, you know what, how about I even lowered that between 8 and 4? Because you're only going to be the lifeguard over here. So you, sir, are hired. Good job, Phil. You're now a lifeguard. Sit in the chair and walk around. Yeah, whatever you're feeling, Phil. Whatever you're feeling. Well, not a lot of action on the new pool this morning, but somebody is in there. The temperature is climbing. It's 86 degrees now and going up to 91. Great day to be outside in the pool, if you ask me. Looks like you're heading over there. How's the computer lab going? Yeah, computer lab is packing them in. How much, uh, how much money do we actually make on those? Oh, I can upgrade them too. Oh, neat. $2 an hour, that's not very much. But it's a pretty terrible computer. Install games, you say? Hello. What does that do? Oh, ho, ho. Meteors, Super Giuseppe, oh, my favorite game, and Loom, oh, great FPS there, yeah, we'd like, we'd like to put Loom on there. It's only, uh, so, so it's not that much money. Put Earth Invaders on there. Cannot, uh, oh, it's in use, oh, okay, all right, that's fine, uh, give me one that's not in use then. Okay, I got it, game, thank you, thank you, I got it. Let's put, uh, Pang on there, and Earth Invaders. Now, can I get the rest of these? I I think I need to upgrade first. Okay, that's very cool. I'm, I'm just going to make this into a gaming computer lab. To heck with anything else going on the intranets or anything. This is just going to be all about games and you're going to pay money for it. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Rec Tycoon. We're deeply in the hole. 
deeply, deeply in the financial hole. This is probably where it's all going to go wrong. But we have a snazzy new outdoor pool and we're installing a bunch of games on our computer because that's what I want people to be doing around here. It is a recreation center. That is a form of recreation. I got to get a new bench. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to get a new bench in here. This is just ridiculous. People are going nuts in the sauna. Let's get that to go like that. There we go. Not in front of the door, Dave. Not in front of the door. We'll build that. That'll be a few extra people who can hang out in the sauna. So that is a good place to call it on Rec Center Tycoon. Undoubtedly, this will crash and burn in financial flames any moment because we're hemorrhaging money and I have an absurd loan out. But we'll see what we can do with it. Do please continue to let me know what you think of Rec Center Tycoon. And if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Be more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer, or is it just stuck on the Nature Channel?